going on YouTube? How's everybody doing tonight? Hope we're all doing well. So tonight I have an unboxing for you guys. It's from a company called Twisted Shots. This is their basic variety pack. And it's their take on different types of shots you would typically order at the bar, like a Miami Vice, Washington Apple, things like that. Now, before we get into this, I will say I tried filming this video once already. That's why there is some missing and I messed up at the end of it. So I had to redo it because I don't edit my videos yet. <laughs> But um, that's why there are some missing. So anyways, let's get into this. First off is price. I paid $16.99 for it, which I don't think is too bad. If you've never had any of these shot types of shots before and you want to try them, it's a good way to get, you know, share with your friends, have a good time, you know, get an idea of what they taste like. Now, I wouldn't necessarily recommend buying them for, say, a big party. You're probably going to spend a lot of money if you try and do that. Because whenever people are drinking, they're typically like, shot, shot, shot. So, you know, if you're doing that, you're better off getting a bottle of Jack or Captain Morgan, something like that, where it's going to be a little bit more expensive than a box of these. But it's going to do a lot more people for you. So, first off is the packaging on this. The packaging, I would say, is very well done. I like how it's got the, almost like a nighttime type color, and they feature all the different flavors right on the front there so that you can kind of get an idea of what they look like. Obviously, they don't look exactly like the picture because, you know, it's a cartoony picture and nothing ever really looks like the picture. But they do look very similar, so I was actually impressed how close they got the picture to the shots. So let's open her up. And it's got actually a nice box. I do like the box, how it you can open and close it, and it seems to hold up pretty good. It's a uh, finished plastic, so it's not going to get completely ruined if you get a couple droplets of moisture on it. So I'm going to take each one out, and we'll pull it up again so that you guys can see it. It wants to close on me. So we'll take each one out, and then we'll try them one by one and give my impressions on them so that you guys can... Maybe develop your own opinion of it before you decide if you want to go out and spend the money on them or if you do not want to. Alright, so there's that. And it's, they're all about 20% alcohol volume, so that gives you an idea for that. First one we got up is Washington Apple. And this one is usually the one that I do like the most out of all of them, so we'll see if that holds true today whenever I'm more sober drinking it as opposed to drinking all night and then trying to do shots. So we got liquor made with whiskey and sour apple liquor for the Washington apple. The color on this is actually pretty cool and you can see they all have that two-tone color. And after I get it open and do the first one, I'll show you why they're keeping that color without mixing if you can't tell by the um, video. They all have a foil wrapper on the top like this. It's going to keep it the freshest, longest, you know, hold up the best as opposed to a plastic covering or something like that. I have a little bit of an apple scent to it, but the scent is more of an alcohol scent. And you're not going to have real high quality um, liquor in these because of the price typically. So don't get too discouraged if you can't sit there and sip it and enjoy it. It's literally made to be a shot. I do get an apple taste there, but it is overpowered by the alcohol in it. But there is a little bit of an apple aftertaste to it. It's very light though. The scent on it, you know, like I said, you can smell the alcohol in it right away. Uh, you can feel the alcohol in your tongue right away. There is an apple aftertaste to it, but it doesn't have a whole lot of flavor to it. All right, so next one we got the Miami Vice which is a strawberry Dakari vodka and pina colada vodka rum and cream. And that is this guy right here. And I kind of, I think I like the label on this one the best. I like how it goes from the blue down into that pink. I think that's real cool. That last one had a decent taste to it, but it wasn't anything to really write home about as far as that goes. I get the cream scent right away, not too much of anything else. Definitely a heavy cream scent. Yep, 
you taste the cream very heavily in that, like the scent to it. But that one actually does have a better flavor than the Miami Vice. I think I actually might like that one better. Or I'm sorry, than the Washington Apple. So I think I do like the Miami Vice better than the Washington Apple. So we're going to kind of set the label here. So, so far, Miami Vice is winning as far as flavor and presentation goes on the label. So next we got the whipped chocolate. And before I do that, I have a glass of Pepsi here. I'm going to kind of cleanse my palate a little bit so that I can taste the flavors more. Get that off my tongue. So what do we say? We got whipped chocolate next. Now this is actually the only flavor that I had not tried each time I had had these. And I think I had bought them two or three times in the past myself and I had had them on one or two other occasions whenever somebody else had bought them. And this was the only flavor that I never tried because I'm not a big chocolate person. So I kind of steered away from it. Not that I didn't think I would heavily dislike it. I just don't gravitate towards chocolate usually so I've never been inclined to try it. But we're going to try it today. Right away I get that chocolate smell to it. That chocolate, anytime you get like a candy bar or something like that, how the chocolate just whiffs out at you. I definitely get that. It's not a subtle scent at all, it's you can smell the chocolate. That tastes like a Yoohoo if you mix vodka in with it. I don't believe I went over the flavors. They're the ingredients in that one. So it is a whipped cream vodka and a chocolate cream liqueur. That tastes like Yoohoo if you add vodka into it. That's exactly what the chocolate, the whipped chocolate tastes like. Next we got our strawberry sundae. Now this was a flavor that I was always iffy about in the past. Sometimes I did like it. Sometimes I did just depending on the night. So for the strawberry sundae, we have strawberry vodka and we have vanilla vodka with cream. I'm interested to see if the cream overpowers this one or is very potent in this one like it was in the Miami Vice. Okay, so let's get into it. I do smell the vodka right away in this. Definitely smell the vodka right away. And the colors in this one are real pretty too. I like how it's the reddish pink with the white cream. I get strawberries and cream. Tastes like strawberries and cream exactly. There's not, the cream doesn't overpower the strawberry, the strawberry not the cream, it's a good mix of strawberries and cream. So this one probably has the best balance between all of them, has the best balance of flavor. So last, we're going to cleanse our palate again here. I feel like I should have pepper too, like whenever you go to smell colognes and stuff to cleanse your nose, I feel like I should have pepper here too for some reason since I keep saying cleanse the palate. Last, we got the rattlesnake, and it's diluted tequila and lime liqueur. The diluted tequila is a product of Mexico, the lime liqueur is a product of New Zealand. And it doesn't say on any of the other ones product of whatever country, so it's kind of interesting to me that it says that. Now the rattlesnake, I really like the coloring on this one, how you got that green and clear, it kind of make for almost a lighter beer bottle type color. I do like that. Now rattlesnake is actually the one that I cared for the least whenever I have tried them in the past. So tequila usually gives me heartburn, so I tend to stay away from it, and this one was no different. Yep, nope, nope. That one's definitely got the most bite to it out of all of them. I don't like that one. Not at all. Rattlesnake. Yeah, something's biting, but maybe not a rattlesnake. Okay, so that's... All the flavors that we went through here, you know, my final thoughts on it are, it's something fun to get for a, um, 
small gathering of people. So if you're having a small party or something like that, by all means, go ahead and grab this for something different. You know, but if you're trying to do a big group of people, it's just going to be too expensive to try and do these. You're going to need several boxes because people are going to be doing two, three of them at a time. And if you have 20, 30, 40 people, that's going to add up to a lot. So, you know, it's these great for small parties, I would say. Small gatherings of like five to ten people with the most. But not for like anything more than that. I wouldn't recommend that for. Now, what did I think on the initial flavors, aside from how you had seen me reacted? I'd say they were all decent at the worst. Um, I did not care for the rattlesnake, like I had said, but that doesn't mean that you're not going to like it. They're very, what's the word, inoffensive, I guess you could say. They're very inoffensive. They're not made with alcohol that's going to be good to sit there and sip and enjoy the flavor of. But if you take it like a shot, you're going to get that flavor all at once. And, you know, once you got the shot, you're done. So, you know, my final take is get it for something different to try, but don't expect to be wowed by it. Um, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good night.